And here it is, the last lap in the season-long race for the trophy. Millions of viewers from around the world are tuning in for the biggest final in club football, the Champions League final. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box, as always, by the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere building to fever pitch, we're just minutes away from kickoff time. It's Paris Saint-Germain taking on Chelsea. Well, Derek, we've got some of the world's top players out there tonight, so this has to be a great game, doesn't it? I just hope you see both sides play to their full potential. I can't wait for this. And here is the initial 11 for Paris Saint-Germain. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the keeper. Sergio Ramos plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence. Lionel Messi starts with Neymar in the wide positions. And the main threat in attack today should be Kylian Mbappe. the lineup for Chelsea Thiago Silva plays with Antonio Rudiger in central defense and Goro Conte starts alongside Jorginho in the center of midfield and the main threat in attack today will likely be Romelu Lukaku like this occasion welcome to the UEFA Champions League final the best two teams in Europe this season preparing to go head-to-head -head for the crowd this is Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined as always on these big occasions by Stuart Robson. It's Paris Saint-Germain, it should be, and rattling the post. Well, they've started the game really brightly, and that was so close to taking the lead. An authoritative challenge, and Messi carries it forward. What's he gonna do from this position? Still be able to do a bit of damage. Well, the goalkeeper got there in the end. Well, his recovery is brilliant here. So athletic. Chilwell. And he's broken free. Well, it would have been a chance, but the run was mistimed offside. Well, the referee deciding to let the play flow, but now it will be a booking, Stuart. Well, as soon as the ball went dead, he was always going to book him, and he's absolutely right to do so. And Goro Conte. Well, considering the form book, Stuart, Kylian Mbappe has got to be taken seriously here. Well, Derek, his outstanding attribute is his pace. Not just over the first few yards, but over longer distances as well. And that makes him so difficult to play against. Defenders are unsure whether to get tight or drop off. A dynamic player. It's a perfect challenge. Mbappe. Beautifully disguised ball. Now the task is to remain focused. Oh, in it goes! The opening goal in the UEFA Champions League final. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. nil then the 
And Golo Conte. And Pulisic has it. Messi. An inability to keep hold of the ball there. Promising sequence. But nothing comes of it. Jorginho. N'Golo Conte. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. Rudiger. Romelu Lukaku now. Moving the ball forward with purpose. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Pulisic. On to Jorginho. Lukaku. That's a splendid pass from Romelu Lukaku. Oh, marvellous goalkeeping. Well, it's a top-class save from a top-class goalkeeper. That's absolutely brilliant. Taken short. It's been whipped towards the near post. Not really the ideal clearance. Well, well, if only he'd been able to stay onside. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Stay onside, and that could have been a really big chance. Well, nearing the half-time interval and PSG in front. Stuart, interested to get your thoughts on their performance so far. Well, it's been a tight game so far, but they've just had that little... And he might be through here. And a goal! I'll tell you what, they're going to be very hard to catch now. Name on the trophy, maybe. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one foot in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. It's going their way, 2-0. Conte. It's a weighted pass. Well, that has been deemed offside, Stuart. Well, he took too long to get the pass away. It's as simple as that. Verratti. Neymar Verratti now Wijnaldum Well it looked highly promising but they got nothing out of it Racing forward trying to catch them out Pulisic Chilwell Lukaku waiting and nothing positive comes of it unfortunately and just one minute of time added on for stoppages. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game.
45 minutes separating these two sides from glory. The second half of the Champions League final begins. Lukaku. Pulisic now. Oh, he's given the ball away. And he's going to be disappointed with that pass. N'Golo Conte. Romelu Lukaku now. Pulisic. Can't argue with that little move. Something to worry about here. Oh, my goodness! He's caught that so well! A goal of the highest class. Fantastic technique. Well, let's take another look, and it's not good enough defensively. They're slow to react, don't get tight enough, and don't deal with the situation. And there's the outcome. Well, as they kick off again, 2-1 the current state of affairs. Lukaku, Mount, the cross is on, not all that convincing defensively, but it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. Mbappe, Mbappe, intelligent threaded pass here, just couldn't capitalise there. Lukaku, well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Lukaku, this could level it. The crossbar goes in the way. Well, that was a great save. But the way they're playing at the moment, the equaliser can't be far away now. And the ball's gone. Aspini Quetta on high alert. Good vision. Can he get onto this? And he might be through here. And he failed to get it away properly. Good use of advantage in favour of PSG. We're now inside the final 20 minutes of the game. Mount. Hakimi. Wijnaldum now. And a strong tackle. Excellent defending. Pulisic. Conte. Body in the way. Will he finish? Whatever way you look at that, it's been squandered. Well, the final whistle is almost upon us. PSG would dearly love to hear it. Will they get the win here? Stuart, your thoughts on their performance? Well, they should have had this wrapped up long ago. Some of their football has been excellent, but they're going to need to be resilient in these final few minutes to get... Oh, maybe the equaliser! And that'll be the goalkeeper's ball. <laughs> Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Promising avenue of attack favoured by Messi. But nothing comes of it. 
And they could face difficulties here. Mbappe. And Foxing the defender. And no way through. Well, there's still scope for late drama here. Five minutes left. And just one goal between the sides. Excellent challenge. Might be a chance here. And it goes! And surely that's the end of the story. They cannot throw it away from here. Well, here's the replay. And when you've got the ball at the back, you've got to pass it forward. And he doesn't do that there. He has his pocket picked, and he's been rightly punished. Scoreline here. And that's an important intervention. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. Mbappe. Full time! Parisian pride shines through. PSG have cleared the final hurdle in the Champions League. Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives. And they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners, Paris Saint-Germain. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. What would a celebration be without the chance to enjoy it with your own supporters? Well, these fans have certainly played their part, haven't they? They'll savour these moments. They've travelled far and wide to follow their team. They're loving every minute of this, and why not? They deserve it. A performance of fire as well as ice. They held their nerve when that was necessary. And these celebrations will run long into the night. Well, these are the moments they have to make the most of. It doesn't happen very often, does it? These will be photos to cherish for years to come. Brilliant stuff. And you are looking at the best club side in Europe.